Are you pretending to do laundry? No, I'm doing your laundry. I'll have your, I'll have your laundry done soon, miss. Sorry it's taking so long. <laughs> Don't let him fool you. <laughs> he was actually out working on a truck. The last thing he wanted to do is come in and work on a laundry room. <laughs> Am I right or am I right? You are correct. You're out making more laundry. I feel like you have that extra load today. Well, we're gonna move around because okay. we can need I to. Stand up? Yeah, you can stand up. Yeah. <laughs> we need to make some uh, a few adjustments to our laundry room so that it functions a whole lot better. Yep. We're gonna show you what we want to do, the changes we want to make, and, and apparently the purpose of these things is so that I can actually do the laundry somehow. You know, I'm sorry, this is, we were like 500 and some videos in. I think it's actually probably easier if we set the tripod higher and you stand on something. That All right. So I've always been grateful that we have a main floor. I'm on a stool. Just Dawn's, on, Dawn's on a one foot tall stool. I've always been really grateful that in this house we have a main floor laundry room, pretty mm -hmm. good size laundry room. Our house is only 1,500-ish square feet, so right. relatively small. And so I've, I've always been grateful for this space. It's worked out pretty well. We've had in the past, we've had the little like literal laundry closets. We've had laundry in basements and all of that. So we understand your pain for those of you who don't have a nice laundry room. But no matter what you have, it's important to recognize what's working, what's not. And even things that worked in the past when we first moved in here five years ago, haven't been working so well. So we want to make some changes so that more members of our family can partake in the joy of laundry. We're not we, gonna talk about folding. We wanna make some changes. I am passing the baton. So let's just talk about- Don just wants to sit out by the pool in the backyard. And yep, yep, <laughs> you know me. So let's talk about a few things that aren't working and then uh, we'll show you kind of what our plan is. So uh, number one, in the past, I've always been the main person that loads the washing machine because I like to sort stuff out, make sure the right stuff goes in together. Um, so we've been fine with one laundry basket that everything dirty goes into, um, but we're gonna make some changes to that. Number two, we have a really nice folding drying rack. Mm -hmm. What's the problem with it? It's too big. It takes up like a third of the laundry room. And because it sits on the floor or stands on the floor, it's really hard to like sweep or vacuum underneath it. And I think the dryer vent thing isn't totally connected, so we get a oh, lot no, of Oh no, I can tell you right lint. now, it looks like the dryer has moved and it, there's no way it's hooked up anymore. So there's always like a ton of lint under it and stuff, which we can maybe try and fix that today. I don't know how easy that is to fix, but um, it's just really hard to clean because there's always stuff sitting on the floor. So it'd be nice to get the drying rack, have a smaller one and get that up off the floor. And then lastly, the top shelf, which we added these shelves when we moved in and they've functioned great, but the top shelf doesn't, have enough organization, maybe gets a little piled with stuff. It might Are even be too much to space. Are you referring to my section of clothing space? Yeah, I'm trying to be nice about oh. it. Yeah, no, it's, so it's actually like, so you can see it right here. Mm -hmm. I just throw things mm -hmm. and it's like a basketball hoop. It just catches the corner and it's, yeah. it works. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> yeah, well, you even said yourself that it could use a little help. Right. Well, no, I've said that it's it's actually too big for what I need. Like, believe it yeah. or not, I don't actually need that full shelf, so. Yep, so then it just collects stuff. So we yep. know how that goes. Yep. So the other problem we've had, I forgot to mention, is since we set up this laundry room, we've added our vacuum cleaner that has the thing to hang it on the wall to charge, but we've never set that up, so it's always floating around in here. And then we also added this mop, which we still really like, um, but it's just too much stuff in here. And again, it makes the floor hard to clean because there's always stuff on the floor. So the hope is also to mount this on the wall and relocate the mop. So uh, let's get to work, start making some of these changes. We'll show you some of the stuff we've gotten to, uh, I don't know, we don't know for sure if it's gonna work or not. We went to the hardware store last night and we're like, we'll see. So I, I believe, are we, we're cutting this top shelf to line up with the bottom shelf, is that what we're doing? That was my thought because then here, let me grab the drying rack. So this is the drying rack that we got that mounts on the wall. So the problem I see is you're going to want this down low because you're short, but you want two shelves underneath here. Right. So I don't think it's going to be able to be as low as you're going to want. Okay. So the thought is to cut off the top shelf so there's a little more room for this. So should we do that first and then we'll figure out what's 
the lowest we can go without it being in the way of the other parts. I'm kind of surprised the smoke detectors aren't going on. It smells like smoke in here now. <laughs> it's just metal. It's, it's burning metal is what it smells like. Yep, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, man. Well, I think before we do anything else, we should probably address the fire hazard we have behind this. Okay. You pull it out? I'm going to pull it out, yeah. Oh my, no, 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 you don't want to show this. I mean, we can. We'll clean it up a little bit and then show you. <laughs> okay. Middle of mom, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. People do this regularly? Pull out their dryer, clean out behind it? I would. Yeah. And yet, you say that. Well, here we are. If it was my own house and I lived by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think your fantasy self would. <laughs> oh, do you? <laughs> All right, so Tom got the brackets down off the wall, and so, yeah, lovely anchors there. We'll have some patching to do, but that's okay. So, our thought is that we're going to move it down, and then we want to have two shelves down here where Tom's standing that we are going to put four baskets like this on that we're going to sort laundry into so that no one mixes. How high do we want it? Um, I think that would be pretty good. Nine inches off the floor. Okay, so Tom got the, the top shelf in place, so now we're going to figure out how high to make this drying rack. Right there. All right, so when it's up, how, how tall is it gonna be? Taller than you. This is gonna be a trick. <laughs> yeah, sorry. We'll just pretend. Pretend, yeah. Go. So uh, it'll be like this shelf on my top shelf. So top shelf. That's pretty high for me. Perfect. So what if yeah, we just don't- Yeah, but think about it. You need it high because otherwise these clothes dry know, they're gonna, gonna hang, hang into, into the, the bins. It seemed like such a good idea in my head. I still think it's a great idea. I don't see the problem with it being up here. Well, are you gonna put everything on it? I thought the idea. Okay, here, was let me. Dawn doesn't do. One second, let's show that. One second. Okay. All right, come on over. Here, I need. Let Let me grab something to hang up. I got something. Just came out of the washer. I need to hang it on the drying rack. Okay, so. <laughs> So like the first See, one. See, it looks will be like okay. it looks like no problem whatsoever. Like I mean, I guess I can go from underneath. See. And put stuff on. Problem solved. All right, it's not ideal, but I guess it'll work. So the other problem that we're having is we have this Dyson vacuum cleaner. We've never. You're supposed to be able to just hang it on the wall so it can charge, but we've never set that up. So Tom's trying to figure out how that works. But we're also gonna have issues with where the outlets are located in here. So. Oh, does the plug in mounting set up here? Yes. I see. So we used to use this outlet um, over there behind Tom to plug it in, but it was always just like leaning against the dryer. It wasn't really ideal. Yep, sometimes we'd wake up in the middle of the night when it fell. But from okay, what we can so tell, that's the only outlet in here. Yes. I mean, besides, like, beside, the dryer. Besides the dryer, and the, there's one behind the washing machine, too. So, oh. so this, you plug it in like that, right? So it's on the wall, plug it in, and now it charges, right? Which is super nice, but we gotta figure out where to put it. So if we put it over here. I don't love, if I'm gonna be completely honest. I, well, just, why don't you just lie a little bit? <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you just pretend, Don? Well, how about the other spot that I was thinking? What about behind this door? Is there a plug-in in in this corner of the bathroom? Oh, you want to put it out here? If there was a plug-in here, why not mount it here? And then the doors open 80% of the time. I mean, nobody closes the door when it goes to the bathroom, so... (laughs) Let... Let me think about this for one second. All right, plan B. You knew you put an outlet in here for a reason, right? So yeah, so we're going to put... Um, probably like a two by six between here, screwed in from here and here. We'll mount this to that, okay. and then we'll run the plug in down into it. And then I'll take some of those wires or these guys, 
whatever those yeah, are called. Yeah, the wire staple And I'll things. staple it to it so, so no one ever catches this or anything. Yeah. And then I'll put it high so it's out of the way, but then the kids can just grab it by this and pull down and go away with it and then yep. click like it, it back in here and hang it up. Thank you. That'll Perfect. work much better. Good. All right. And as long as we're getting nitpicky about our laundry system. Um, I actually oh, voice. I have to stop you. You have a bunch of dust in your hair. Oh, that's fine. Okay, that go just ahead. means Sorry. I've been working. Yeah, you just, <laughs> all you did is like work it in now. <laughs> <laughs> I had voiced my opinion that I didn't care for the bins that were up here. Mm -hmm. They were kind of flimsy and I didn't like that I couldn't see through them. Yeah. So I literally had to pull them down every time to look at them just to see if there's something in them or not. Yep. So I wanted bigger bins that I could see through and another bin just to fill it. Since we're clipping off the rest of my section, mm -hmm. just give me four bins that fill the void. So we can do all of that. So um, we got some more of these bins from Target and they, I wanted to get more dark ones because I figure when Tom's grabbing them and stuff, like over time they oh, I'm gonna sting might them. get dirty. This was all they had. So, um, but actually when I got home, I was like, oh, these match the bathroom color. So it's kind of pretty. Um, and then two white ones. Yeah, and I only put my clothes in pretty things. Exactly. So. No, that actually, I, I'm not gonna lie, it looks really good. All right, good. Well, it's coming together mm -hmm. then. So I've got some holes that I need to patch on the wall. Uh, it's really hard for me not to paint this room right now because it really needs to be painted, but I'm not going to. We don't have time for that right now, so. You can paint it, but uh, I you want I'm nothing to do with it. it. <laughs> no. So let's get everything uh, put back together and we'll see how it functions. Okay, so we're not gonna paint, but I do wanna make this space a little cuter. Often the door gets left open, so if someone comes over and they use this bathroom, you see into here, which isn't a huge deal, it's fine, but it could be a little cuter. So I wanna go with the mint color paint that's in that room, and then I'd gotten this um, picture like a long time ago on clearance at Kirkland, so I wanna work with that so I don't have to change it. So uh, I found this, it's actually a shower curtain from Target, but I thought it'd make a really cute little valance in here and has the right colors. And then I think we'll put a couple things up on the wall, again, just so it looks a little cuter when you look in. And then we need to get some bins in here, put labels on bins, and I think, oh, I really need to wash the floor too. And then <laughs> I think we're done. Let's talk about my hope for this new system. So I know a lot of families do, like each member of your household will have their own laundry hamper. They do their own laundry. You keep it all together. That works very well. I don't, we don't have a lot of clothing inventory and uh, some of us would run out of clothes, I think before there's even a full load. But the problem I run into is that I don't want like darks getting washed with like a bath towel. And I've also been a little more intentional about pulling out whites and trying to do a better job of caring for those. And so here's my plan. These two baskets on top are just for regular run-of-the-mill laundry. Everything in it can go in the washer, go in the dryer, come out, and it's totally fine. And then these two baskets are for whites, obviously. And then for stuff that gets hung dry or does not go in the dryer. So basically, I wanted a way to keep my stuff separate and I will do my own laundry and that's totally fine. Um, or anything else, Tom has a few things too that doesn't get dried in the dryer and you want it separate. So the, that kind of stuff will go in here. But the other thing I like, I know these bins don't look very big, but they're like the perfect size for one load of laundry in our washing machine. So I really hope that this is gonna make it easy for everyone else in our house to do laundry too because if you come in here and a bin is full or you're filling it up by putting your stuff in, just take it over to the washing machine, dump it in, add the soap, and you're good to go. So I'm hoping that this will help everyone to kind of gauge like, okay, this is a full load worth, so now I can just do it quick and put it in and it's not a big deal. So that's my plan and all we can do is test it out, see how it goes, and make adjustments as needed. And then one other thing, quick, behind the door, We've always had our ironing board. Do you know how many times we have used that since we've moved in here? Uh, I don't know, maybe one time. So I think what I don't like is that you can't sweep behind you really easily and so it just collects like a bunch of junk on the floor then and it, like you just know it's there. Like, is it hurting anything? No, but I always know when I come in here that it's like there and it's kind of like cluttering up this space. And so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna donate this full-size one, and then I wanna look for just a smaller tabletop 
one. And so I'm just gonna put that, like I just have like a running like wish list if I'm ever at a secondhand store or garage sale or something, I just keep an eye out for it. And it's amazing. It's like a magnet. It like brings that thing to you. <laughs> so it usually works really well. So I'm gonna put that on my like wish list and trust that by the time, the next time we need an ironing board that we'll have that. And I feel like this space is gonna feel even better. Okay, and as long as we're going all out in here, this sounds like really nitpicky, but it's like, if we're gonna make changes, we're just gonna change everything in here. That's annoying me. So I also didn't like this canvas bin um, that has our cleaning supplies in it or kind of like our laundry cleaning stuff in it. It's just, we had it. That's why I used it there is just we had it, but it's, it's really awkward to like pull down and get stuff out of. And ideally in a space like this, I would just rather have something that's like hard plastic that I can wipe down and stuff and just to be able to see what it is you're grabbing. So uh, these bins at the dollar spot at Target, so they're $5. I know everything in here is from Target. I'm not trying to endorse Target. I just, it was like they had the things I needed. <laughs> so I'm gonna swap out the stuff that's in that canvas bin and that was on this wire rack and see if we can make it all fit in there. And then I think that will function super well. I'm really surprised that you said I could be in here to talk about the laundry room. Why? I thought I should be doing laundry right now. Well, you know, it's funny because I like couldn't help but want to do laundry in there. Like I already did the first inaugural load. I know. Because it's so I, nice in there. That's what I'm saying. It makes my heart happy. And that was it, not even my goal. I just wanted it to function well, but now it's like pretty too. So I truly believe, I mean, I may be over exaggerating as I sometimes do. I believe that our six year old could do our laundry now. With how we have it set up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally. I think anyone in our household could do it very easily. Well, I hope the older kids could do it. No, it was really nice just being able to grab a basket, dump it in, turn on the washing machine. The only thing, the kids might not be able to reach the detergent very easily, so I might have to just adjust that. Dump it in. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, I think it's going to work awesome. But speaking of laundry detergent, we've just been using um, Molly Studs. It's you know, eco-friendly, good for you, all that. But we asked our members group if they had any questions around laundry or tips, but there was a bunch of people that said they like using laundry sheets now, which- Instead of detergent? Yeah, they like come in, they almost look, not really like a dryer sheet, but kinda like that same thing, but you don't have the plastic jug then. And they said that they work really well. Um, Erica said she uses Earth Breeze. So I'm gonna link to that down below. You're linking the stuff we've never tried and Tom no, is skeptical listen, of? Listen, Living More Simply said, I second everyone saying laundry sheets. They are such a space saver and so much better for the environment. I've used all different brands now and most of them are great. So. I'm still skeptical. Well, we'll try them out because that would be super easy for the kids to use. And so I'll, we'll get some and we'll try that out. We'll also use up our Molly's suds. That's interesting. I've never even heard of that. Yeah. Shows how much I look into the I hadn't heard. No, I hadn't. Yeah, well, that's so amazing, Tom, with all the laundry I mean, you I'm do. All, no, I'm <laughs> always researching better ways to wash our clothes, and I'm just, it never came up. I know. It's remarkable. I think what always, like, still surprises me, it's like, you have to get rid of all the extra. Like, if it is not essential in there, like, get rid of it. And that's what makes a room go from, like, yeah, it's fine. Like, our laundry room before was fine. But now, it's like... It functions well, it feels good, you wanna be in there, it's pretty. I don't know, you just gotta get rid of that extra stuff, I feel like. Yeah. You didn't see, I took the, we had always had our ironing board behind the door. Yeah. Gone, it's getting donated. Oh, we don't you, ever use you it. mean that thing we haven't used in, how long have we lived here? Five yeah, years? it just Five holds years? the wall up in that section. <laughs> yeah. Yep, gone. So nothing it behind the door. It makes my heart happy to know that it is getting donated. Because even though it was like hidden, you still like it's knew still it was there, there yeah. right? Yeah. Ugh. So it's gone. We got your new bins up. I put labels on them. Yep. Um, all of those labels in our laundry room, I just go to the Avery design and print online and I got like the round Avery labels. So that's how I made these labels. And I can put some instructions down below for that too. So, but it also feels really good to have everything up off the floor. We never mm -hmm. like swept or washed the floor in there because there was just always stuff on it. So now it'll be really easy. And it is, uh, it's linoleum and it's maybe a little beat up linoleum. Yeah. And so like, even if we wash the floor, it's not going to look amazing. Yeah. But, but it is what it is. We well, don't really care to replace the flooring right now. Not in there. We will event. Well, when we redo all the flooring in the mm -hmm. house, we will. 
and I did because it is kind of beat up, especially in front of the dryer. I was like, I should put a like a rug down here. Like what? that would look really nice. And then I'm like, no, no, no. You always have to like smooth it out and shake it off and all that. No, no, no. So no rug. That was a very quick thought that went through my head. I also made the um, the curtain in there, mm -hmm. and it was just from a shower curtain. And I did not even sew it. I just used liquid stitch. And I feel like that's like <laughs> when so so for men, I feel like that would be like us uh duct taping no um they make like body panel adhe adhe adhesive okay like so you like adhesive on your bedside of your truck instead of weld it on yeah but it's actually supposed to work now sorry i have okay. a spoon i was eating well honestly the liquid stitch works too but there were some good quite we asked our members group if they had any questions or thoughts around the laundry room. Stephanie says, I would love to hear more about folding things as they come out of the dryer. I've heard Dana from A Slob Comes Clean talk about it too, and I just can't wrap my head around it. So we're not gonna talk about whether you should fold your clothes or not. Uh, we'll link to our laundry video. I do not wanna get into that discussion today. But if you can get in the habit of dealing with your laundry, each load as it comes out of the dryer, it like eradicates the piles of laundry different places and then it's a load's worth is enough that you can hold it in your arms so even if it goes to different places in your house you just gather it all up and then you go and distribute it where it needs to go and so for us then we don't have laundry baskets because you know how laundry baskets just collect stuff so it's worth a shot but you know, they just fill up with stuff and see people's bedrooms. I don't hold bedrooms. on though. I'm just gonna propose a question because somebody's got. It. What is the difference of a laundry basket or a bin? <laughs> Tom thinks I've gone crazy with bins now. They're everywhere. They're, they're everywhere. overtaking the house. But they're when you learn how to use them correctly, they're magical. Maybe like a laundry basket. No, laundry baskets are different than bins. Maybe no one has ever taught you how to okay. use it correctly. No, if you, if your family is disciplined enough to use laundry baskets you know, connect I'm correctly, I think they're magical. If not, like our family, then we just don't. We just get rid of them. Rachel says, my laundry is in the garage and is always an unorganized mess. It doesn't help that I coupon and I have a ton of laundry soap. So I think this comes down to inventory because I get, I totally understand wanting to save money and all of that, but if our inventory overtakes our space, then it's not really a benefit to us anymore, right? And so that has been a huge thing for us is like, we have to keep the inventory pared down and that's what makes our spaces easy to keep organized. Unless you're like a really great organizer and can organize tons of stuff, but that's not me. Question. Yep. What if I am a prepper? No. and minimalist not going there and i also thought this was a really good tip from anya because part of the reason i wanted to create the separate bins was so that stuff that is supposed to get hung dry gets hung up and it doesn't get thrown into the dryer and so she said for her family anything that needs to get hung up goes in a mesh laundry bag so she puts it in there and then it can go in the wash and come back out and then that's the signal to her husband that that item needs to get put on the drying rack and not put in the dryer so I thought that was a great solution too. But I do, I do, I was a little worried that the drying rack would be too high, but I think it's actually gonna work really well. And I think it's just the right size for what we need. Mm -hmm. And of course, I love this tip, tip too. Just commit to doing a quick tidy every time you do laundry. Very basic, I know, but it sure does help. And I think that's too, as we like simplify it and get just the stuff you need in there then even tidying up the laundry room like doesn't feel like a huge hassle or a chore and so it's just easy it's just easier it's easier to keep clean it's easier to use everyone can use it and so i'll get off my soapbox now <laughs> no pun intended that was funny <laughs> was, i've been in the laundry room too long today i think <laughs> And I know it came up too. Question. Like, no, we're done with questions now. <laughs> I know it came up too, but like many said, like, like teach your kids to do laundry. They should do laundry. I wholeheartedly agree. Um, we're, we just don't have enough like laundry for each one to have their own hamper. What? And we also like, we have a minimal wardrobe. So we mm -hmm. don't like when things get wrecked. 
Yeah, we're a little yeah. more protective of our clothes, yeah. but um, they definitely help. I was just always the one putting it in the washer because yeah. I didn't want things that shouldn't get washed together. Mostly we throw everything in together, but question <laughs> stop okay <laughs> well i would love to know any laundry tips hacks advice uh have you tried out these sheets these magical yeah, laundry what is washing this about? sheets i'm actually gonna google tell it, us right? if it works what brand works well please tell us that because we would love to know that the other thing i think I is, you were gonna say question i'm like i can't i can't <laughs> i have to sorry i just have to think that it puts off some sort of a residue wouldn't you think no I like don't a think like so. a sheet like there has to be some some chemical into it to make it a sheet, shouldn't there be? We're gonna get some. So we'll get some and we'll test it out. Tom will test it out when he's doing laundry. Yep. And since you're the laundry connoisseur now, so you'll let everybody know. Okay. Sound good? All right. All right. All right, bye-bye. All right, we hope you have a great weekend. We love you and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.